morning folks uh right one for you i'll just give my palace a bit of a clean just done one for patreon so uh, i haven't changed the walls recently that, that will last for a couple of paintings i've got a a paint gray with a blue cast to it and that's uh from ken bromley my my pal uh tennis leaves sent me loads and loads of watercolors and papers so he didn't he couldn't get on with watercolor but he, he collected a lot of stuff over the years from various markets so he bought it cheap but uh some of the colors are lovely and there's a beautiful color uh essentials gamboge i, I haven't used this for years i, I used to have buy this um, from winsor and newson I, I, I won't use it today just showing you it just happened to be here on my little table at the side of me the gambos is a bit to make some beautiful greens but anyway uh enough of that i'll give the paper a bit of a wet this is fabriano 130 pound studio practice paper it's 15 inches by 11 so yes a good size Good size for demonstrating but i think my more expensive papers i cut in two okay there we are I'm going to do something similar to what i've just done on patreon but they'll all end up different now one so nice bit of raw sienna and it's got a bit of bit of red for that Let's see what we can get Sense of the light in this. I'm going to see if we can get some darker. Now, this is the uh, Payne's Grey. Look, it's blue, almost blue. But mixed with that red, get a nice, good dark, which is what we want. Oh, don't panic. Well, let's get a nice bit of red in there. And some of that. So this dries a lot lighter than when you put it on. A bit of the foreground here. Now, I, I've been thinking that as a shadow being cast, but it's not, it's a paint. All right, okay. Going to get some good, rich dark now, I think. Uh, so we'll have that uh, paint spray. And a bit of sienna. Got a bit more blue in there. Okay, that's our distance. Keep the uh, horizon horizontal. I want to put in a, let's get a nice bit of dark in there. For some trees. As you can see, that's really thick paint there. I quite like this, this cad yellow, pale, or pale yellow. Go that bit merging there. Bit of distance. Never know how these uh, wetting are going to, going to come out. But I want to get the, 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 the strength of the foreground in here. Or blue. Hello. Darker. Bit of red. 
So I'm going to scrape out some of this. Get some red. Bit of green on there. Even up, do some on the other side. I'm using really, really thick paint here. Put out the hairs. As that dries, you can go over with some impasto with your watercolours. Some nice warm in the foreground. I don't use a lot of alizarin, but you choose whatever colour whatever colours work for you. But once you've chosen your palette, stick to it and only rarely add another colour because you get used to mixes because you can't mix a nice green to start with. I mean, you say that those colours won't make a nice green. You just have to learn what works and what doesn't. What a really stormy sky, don't they? Okay, so let's put some. Uh, I'll just reclip it. Then we can start pulling out some some of the paint. Easier than doing a brush, so let's just get in some. Bit of reflection there. We don't really do too much on there. Now we go on to here. I'll put something on the top of that when it's dry. I'm going to dry it now. Move up to the pause, get this right. I quite like that. Now, what we're going to do now is to break up the hake, not literally, just smash the uh, drying it off a bit and twiddling it around. We're going to put some leaves on those trees, and so we do need a bit of water. So Put some yellowy stuff on there. Bit of impasto. Bit of raw sienna. Right. The same the other side. Just a little bit down here. Bit of dark. Okay, that'll do. Brush in there. Uh, I'm going to just, I'll probably ruin it now, but I'm going to 
So a bit of that's a reflection of those light trunks with a bit of grass. Shows me a bit, isn't it? Alright, so I can do that any good. Uh, right, just a little bit of a filigree. A bit of pains, a bit of pains here, though. Yeah, too much here, though. Try to get a nice thin chisel edge on there. Signature, always sign your work. You might not think you've done a good job, but others will. Okay, we'll clear them out. This is quite a dull day today, so it's showing up on my. Well, that's all right. Now I've got to go and cut the grass before it rains. This one comes up, oh that's a bit better, the, 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 the uh, mound is coming up a bit uh, bluer than, than grey, it's a grey mound, but I quite like that, I hope you do, thanks for watching, uh, there, yeah. so it's an exercise in really wet in wet, I mean really wet in wet, and using a plastic card, just a bit of, bit of old Plastic, keep keep your plastic cards. They're coming very handy for this. Okay, I hope you like that, folks. See you soon. Bye bye.